Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there, boys and girls. Aqua traction. Yep, just like you guys saw in the last video, uh, after a week, finally got my boat back from mid Kansas Marine. This is my first fishing outing in the boat. First day back in the boat in just a little over a week. So needless to say, I'm rearing and ready to go to catch some fish here. I'm actually out here with my fiance. Uh, she is over in Party Cove with her girlfriends on uh, one of her girlfriend's boats. So I came out to one of the humps out here to see if I just left some friends right where I left them last week. And lo and behold, those fish are still here. Not gonna do too much live scope filming, but just to give you an idea what we're looking at, there's all of my fish right there sitting right off the edge of the hump about 60 or 70 feet back that way i've already caught a few i'm not going to tell you exactly what they are but been on a really super fun spoon bite the weather this last week has been super cool it's brought the water temp down like a degree or two but not much we've got a really weird uh east wind right now which is blowing all the bait and all the fish just like you saw in that very first clip right up to the edge of the hump it's the perfect scenario i've gotten bit on every cast so i figured while danny's over hanging out with the girls that i might throw the gopros up and uh, see if we can't make a little fishing video with some spoons so uh that's what we're going to be doing i will explain what we're doing and how we're doing it as soon as i get the cameras ready all right well we are going so what we're doing today we're using half ounce uh, hot spoons from my good buddy up in Milwaukee, Eric Hadia. We've got some of his reflective tape on there, just kind of like that chartreuse in white with some of that reflective tape. 12 pound fluorocarbon leader to 10 pound braid and a seven foot medium Fox River rod, just the most absolute bread and butter rod you could ever have from Fox River. Utility rod, but like you guys saw in the beginning there, I've kind of got those fish pinned down behind me here just trying to cast with the wind not really using live scope to uh, actually see my bait that far out i just know i'm making an accurate cast but the boat has kind of shifted just a little bit since i've been moving around so we've got to get that school dialed back in but we're just doing short little quick hops right off the bottom and uh working it all the way back to the boat the last couple bites that I've had, those fish have actually hit it on the fall. So that's a good sign that they're getting fired up. They're not really pinning it to bottom out of aggression or just reaction strikes or anything. So I don't know, like I said, we've got to get that school kind of pinned back down, but that is the program. If you guys want to save 10% on this rod right here, um, you can use my discount code listed right here. And same with PC Fun, two discount codes, I should say. Links are all in the description, but. Yep, that's all a guy needs. You definitely want a little bit more stout rod for throwing the bigger spoons, like half ounce, three, three quarters of an ounce, all the way up to one ounce. But I don't even really, especially with the wind at my back, have to make a super long cast. Those fish are sitting 70 feet back from the sea light pole. All it takes is an accurate cast, and we will just see. There he is. Hit it twice. Not a big guy, but you know what? After not having been on the lake for seven days, it feels really good. Oh, another sauger. First fish I caught on this spot was a sauger and they're just kind of mixed in not a big guy but they have been smoking it on that half ounce hot spoon you gotta love it i don't want to disfigure his face but the one thing about eric's spoons here is that uh, he puts really really nice gamakatsu hooks on them um, so as opposed to maybe other I'll let it go here other companies uh, they really just don't put very good terminal tackle on there. So he's got upgraded split rings and upgraded hooks on the bait, which for me is huge. So yeah, first bite. There are a ton more fish back there. So we've caught three different species. They're all just going to be mixed in. So let's see if before I get in trouble for leaving Danny over and party co with her girlfriends, if we can catch a few more before I got to go pick her up.
Oh no, I'm in trouble. Got one. It was. It was very small. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they were just actually a little bit farther. A little bit farther out. This one kind of feels like the right kind. It's going to be a real surprise when I tell you what I'm actually targeting right now. but it's a sneaky little fun bite on a spoon. I have Danny and her friends circling me in their boat right now. That's right, boys and girls. You heard it here first. Channel cats on spoons. <laughs> Have I lost my mind? Nope. We're just on a fun bite and I'm rolling with it. Everyone's just kind of mixed in. Wipers, whites, saugers, cats. On a half ounce hot spoon. Yeah. Got him. God, they hit that spoon so freaking hard sometimes. So freaking hard. This is obviously not my first choice for content, but you know, Josh Pig Patrol has made a living from catching catfish and drum. So if he can do it in spillways, I can surely do it on spoons on offshore humps in the boat. This one's not that small. The one thing though with channels is that they hit it so hard and then they like roll immediately. So sometimes they'll lose that hook in their mouth and then they it ends up like in their side or their tail because that's just what catfish do. But if you guys are devout followers of Josh's channel, and saw the video of him and I ice fishing big channels in January through the ice. They freaking love spoons. This one is definitely not small, but I feel like he might've lost that hook in his mouth. I don't know, maybe. This is fun. There's so many fish down there too. Oh, I got bubbles. We see the bubbles. Really bad day to forget my net too, but the nice thing about the spoons, oh, it's in his face, is that you can just grab the spoon and pull the fish up here. In his face. A bad one? God, I already sound like Josh. See, that's kind of, that's really difficult angle. Oh. Not a bad one. I'll take it. All right, so I'll explain again here kind of what we're doing, where we're at, but we're on just a giant main lake hump. It's like 34, 35 feet off the side of it, and it tops out at like 13 or 14 feet. And these fish are sitting on the windblown kind of side of it, so we're just pitching up shallow and bringing, just hopping that spoon right off the edge, right through the group. And again, we're not necessarily using live scope uh, to be super precise with casts because I'm sitting way off of those fish just based on the wind and how those fish are positioned on the hump because I obviously don't want to cast the spoon out and work the bait up the hump. I want to work it down the hump. So it just happens to be behind us. But again, it starts, you know, 60 to 90 feet from the live scope pole. So just a good cast and just working 
working our way down it, picking them off. Had white bass, sauger, and channels. There's one right at the boat, right behind the boat. And he's off. Anyway, got a little too excited on that one. But yeah, I mean, it's not rocket science. Drive over the spot, mark the fish, hit spot lock, and cast right back behind him. That's my favorite way to catch him. So anyway, we'll see. I think I'm going to switch colors here, too. I'm going to put the fire tiger color on and show the fish something different and see if that works. But that's program. Pretty simple. Use your electronics. Fish aggressive. Get after it. All right, switched up. Got that classic fire tiger, but that reflective tape, I don't know if you guys can see in the video what that does to the bait. Just gives it some different look to it. A little bit of shiny, just translucent reflective tape. Just show them something different. Oh, there go the white bass. I just really don't want to chase those fish around like that. It's fun when there's nobody else around, but when there's six or seven other boats all up on pad, chasing fish around. It's really just not fun. Here we go. That's a whitey. That's what I'm telling you. It's not like they're all channel cats. We've got all different kinds of stuff mixed in and a spoon literally catches everything. It's not like it's a big secret or uh, like some new crazy new thing. I cut my teeth guiding on spoons and this is no exception. This is actually a nicer, nicer white. But I think that was, I don't know, first, first or second cast on the fire tiger. There we go. I don't know, I might be biased, but I just love catching them jigging any way, shape or form. Jig wrap, spoon, stroking a jig in a plastic doesn't get any more fun. But here is kind of another look at what we're, what we're fishing. So you guys can see right there at the top of the screen, that is all shad. And those fish are just sitting right there in attack formation. And again, that's 50 or 60 feet back, but that's what you want to see. That is a bunch of them. So pitch it back to them, see if we can't do it a couple more times before we're ready to get out of here. Oh, boy, howdy. That one just clobbered it. That's a kitty. Kiki's on the spoons. It's fun on light tackle, man. July can be very tough when it's this hot. Granted, this week has not been very hot at all, but when it does get real hot, it's like, as a fishing guide, all you can really hope for are getting your client's rods bent and if we're catching channels like this on a spoon offshore who cares take it this guy got fouled up there little baby spotted guy a little baby spotted guy spotted guy never thought my youtube channel would come to uh catching channels on a spoon but here we are I'm just happy to be back in the boat and making videos again. He's on, dude. That fish hit it so hard coming right at the boat. Uh-oh. He hit it so hard coming right at the boat, I wasn't even sure if he was still on there. So I'm thinking white. A little torpedo white bass. Coming in funny. Oh my God. You know, it's times like these that I really just wish that I had the net. Normally I'd say that wouldn't make the video, but I don't even care. Mm hmm. You betcha. Honestly, anymore, I've just become more appreciative of taking what the lake gives me. And if the lake gives me a hot, hot channel catfish bite on hot spoons, that's what we're doing. Because I, I honestly kind of had this video planned. 
ever since my last guide trip here, however long ago, and these fish are just here. So if you guys want a killer channel catfish spot for $69, I'll give you the coordinates. Another one that is not bad, a heavy guy. Woo. Yep. We love to see it. We just love to see it. They hit it so good though. Nothing beats pitching a spoon. Vertical jigging is whatever, but casting, that's fun. Oh yeah, some, some random dude on uh, Facebook and some dumb local Kansas fishing group was trying to talk a bunch of shit on me. And then he ran out of insults and then said, why don't you go have a white claw? So this one's for you, buddy. Getting rocked by the wakes, knocking over the camera and just had a channel hit it and lose his mind. His whole entire mind. If he's foul hooked, then we're gonna end the video. How about that? We've got more than enough channels to show you that uh, channels just don't prefer to feed on dough bait. You can catch him on anything. Yeah, he's definitely not hooked in the mouth. Disappointing, but they're swiping at it too much and some I get in the mouth, some they're in their dorsal fin. This one feels like I'm dragging him in by his tail. And I'll bet you $4.20 that I'm right. Yep. <laughs> You guys owe me $4.20. All right, let's close this video out and see if we can go find Danielle. All right, guys. Well, like I said, it's gonna just about do it for us this evening. All the boats have kind of cleared out, so we might try and go do something else, but just wanted to kind of recap again this whole spoon situation so these are hot spoons you can go to uh, eric's website i'll leave it down in the description but he's making rods now too ice rods he's always had especially for salmon and trout up there through the ice but yeah tonight's preferred bait of choice was the half ounce but in the box here you guys can see we've got quite the array halves and three eighths and then uh, quarters down here really like the small guys too um, i've got some even smaller ones binks ones that are eighth ounce but those always get you a lot of bites but definitely i think the ticket to just about any bait like this i mean you can literally put this on anything it's just cutting up some reflective tape like that you can use the tape that they use for trailers and stuff like that and cutting it up and putting it on your spoons just to kind of give it a different look but this is something that eric has definitely kind of been pimping out ever since he had these spoons going is putting the reflection tape on there so i highly highly back that again just for a rod like i said you kind of want a little bit more of a stiff rod so we've got seven foot medium fast fox river rod we'll leave the link in that description for that and the pc fun carbon x 2000 one key to spoon fishing that i think a lot of people forget and i've been guilty of this before too is when guys get too frustrated because your line your leader is getting wrapped up in the treble hook that means that your leader is not heavy enough so i always recommend like 12 to 14 or 15 pound fluorocarbon you can use monofilament too if you want the stretch but if you're ripping especially vertical and that treble hook is the baits fluttering back down is getting wrapped up uh, in the line that means it is too small so up your uh, leader not too heavy I see a lot of guys using like 20 pound floor or monofilament I don't really like to care to go that high but yeah 12 to 14 is kind of where you want to be so thank you guys for getting in the boat with me for my first video out in uh, the new aqua traction floor crest liner here the black oak leds are going to look sweet after the sun goes down but in the meantime i've got to go find my fiance somewhere on the lake with her friends please check out all the links in the description down below and i will see you guys in the next video